Who is that? <gasps> oh my god, it's a skeleton! And welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new and welcome back to episode 2 of Adventures Wanted My new mini let's play where we'll, we will be exploring the new world of Salvadorada and the new Sims 4 game pack Jungle Adventure. Thanks to EA again for providing me the early access for this pack So I could record these episodes a bit beforehand because we're continuing right where we left off So I haven't gotten your guys' feedback just yet. I'm recording this right after the first one But hey, Aubrey and the crew has just come through this little gate portal thing over here She held some little capybaras which made me a really happy bara. So yeah, okay Let's see. What is this new area? We came from here Oh my god, these trees are so so big. Oh There's a okay. So there's another. Oh, yeah, we lost our machete Which is a real shame because we only had one. There's another path right there. Oh, oh Yes, oh my goodness look this is the best view in the entire flipping game. Hold on. There's a freaking rainbow Is it called a rainbow? It is and there is the waterfalls coming. Oh my god this This like how breathtaking is this pack? Oh that's, that's where we are staying. That's the field station. Okay, so we're here. Also, what is this? <gasps> what? Avocado? <gasps> Wild avocado tree. Avocados are delicious vegetables. Or uh, delicious fruits? Well, whatever the correct classification is. It sure is good on toast. Oh my goodness, you are so correct. Can we harvest them? <gasps> we can harvest them. Um, where are they? Hold on. I want to see the avocados. Oh, right there. There's a the little avocado. <gasps> Yay! Oh my goodness. Avocados. Can we make avocado toast? Because I would love to. She has acquired the gardening skill. There was only one. Well, thank you. No, there's a few more. Is there? No. Just one avocado. Well, that's okay. All right. I guess we will continue further in the jungle. I think we'll go in this direction or like what's gonna be over there? I actually got no clue. Also, uh, Professor Melvin here, he has actually got some archaeology skills. So, oh, <gasps> wait, oh my god, no, 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 no. <gasps> a swarm of bees is descending on Tessa. Without a Cosmania pulling his flower to distract them, Tessa tries to think of a logical way to outsmart them, but may just be at their mercy. Oh my god, what does that mean? What does that mean? Tessa? Tessa? Are you okay? Where are the bees? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! 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 Tessa, are you okay? Are you okay? Oh no! Oh no! 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 Okay, she definitely got bit. She definitely got bit. Oh no, Tessa, is she okay though? Stings, doesn't it? From being stung by bees. Normal bee stings hurt, but bee stings from the jungle are beyond painful. So yeah, we could definitely send some of these guys back to the lodging if they get hurt like badly. I think Tessa wants to prove that she's a strong woman, so she's not going nowhere. But hey, let's go talk to Riggs here. Lieutenant Riggs. But yeah, anyways, what I was trying to say is what he can do is he can like come over here if he wants to and serve you for a dig pile. And I'm not really sure what this means, but it looks pretty cool. Oh my god, look at him! Little R. Indiana Jones. Did he? That does not look very successful. Oh goodness. Okay, Professor looked. Oh no 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 no! Is it Aubrey? Is it Aubrey? <gasps> Professor looked high and low, near and far, but failed to locate a dig pile. Maybe the Omiskin deities will look fondly upon him next time. 
Aubrey seems to have- okay, we've got- we've got spider spray. Oh my goodness, there's no better time to pull out the Dr. Parker's, thinks Aubrey. Having the spider repellent ready is sure to help ward off these unwelcome crawlers. I want to see this. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, Aubrey, I hate spiders. Where are they? <laughs> Get off me! Oh goodness! <laughs> hey, this is not a good time to call us! Oh my goodness! Get out of here, Phil and company! Okay, well, she's fine. She's fine, you guys. Alright, well, let's um, continue further into uh, the jungle. Let's um, go here together. I hope everyone is still with us. Just look at this view. This is just... I'm pretty deaded with this, to be honest. Look, what the heck? Like, this is... Actually, this... Oh my, no! There's bees! <gasps> Professor! There's bees everywhere! Hold on, what I was trying to say is, this does not look like the safest bridge in the world. Look at that huge drop. Like, if this breaks, they're pretty screwed. Professor? Professor, are you okay? Are you okay? Well, you guys might not know about the professor. He's actually squeamish. He's squeamish. He's clumsy. He is not gonna do so well. Oh, he's very uncomfortable. Are you okay? He's got him. He's just got stung. Professor, he to, to, to tell you guys the truth that no, none of the other, none of the other adventurers know. The professor here might be a professor of archaeology, but he has never been out in the field, literally never, and he's kept his information from Aubrey and the rest of the crew. Aubrey thought he would be like a great addition to their theme with all his knowledge and um, experience. Turns out he's never left the classroom ever. He is, oh my goodness, I don't know how he's gonna do here. He's squeamish. He might even like drop dead from the sign of some spiders or something, so I'm a bit scared. I don't know if we should send him home or if we should keep him in case we find some archaeology stuff. We'll try to keep him for now. Hopefully he'll be okay. He's uncomfortable. <gasps> Wait, let's go over here. I see something. Yes, I think this is one of the archaeology little dig, dig piles, dig sites, whatever you would call them. See, this is what I want the professor for. Excavate! Aubrey, get over here. Let's excavate this. Let's get a start on your archaeology skill. Um, yes! Acquired the archaeology skill. Aubrey's new skill in archaeology will allow her to excavate dig piles in Selva Dorada. Hold on, let me turn the camera. <laughs> and uncover artifacts on the archaeology table. As she continues her studies, she will learn how to authenticate artifacts and locate more dig piles. She will also be able to excavate artifacts without damaging them. That was a lot of text. Okay, well, can you somehow help her or something? Oh! Well, he's sure sitting down next to her, so... No, 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 no! <gasps> Kareem! Kareem! I don't think... Does he have it? Does he have it? Does he have the thing? He has the thing. Oh, thank goodness. He's got the spider repellent. you would be okay, but this is so gross. Ah! Look how big the thing is! Oh, goodness. Honestly, gross. Very gross. Whew, okay, how's it going, Aubrey? How's it going? Oh, we've got the archaeology table that we can pull out if she manages to find something. Uh, Christmas girl, how's it going, Aubrey? Finding anything interesting? He is trying to, um, what? Why are they all feeling flirty? He's trying to offer some knowledge to her, to help her. He doesn't want them to know that he's a complete noob when it comes to this. They're flirty from feeling the falls, from being near a scenic waterfall. Right, the woman did say that this was a nice romantic spot to bring a special someone. Something about being in the wilderness with this beautiful waterfall really gets a sim in the mood for romance. Guys, nobody start flirting. Flirting is not allowed on this expedition. Goodness, I mean, I say that and I'm 100% sure Cream is gonna try to hit on our precious Aubrey here. Let's go. Let's go to a pickup line. That's exactly what he would do. Aubrey, you better not. You better not take this. You are not here for guys. You're here for the experience, for the treasure, to find out more about the Silver Dorada Temple. <gasps> she found one artifact shaped dirt clump. Oh no! Aubrey, get the heck out of here! 
Girl, <gasps> it's bats! Plasma bats! At that, Lieutenant sees them coming and with a kick of adrenaline prepares to cash in all the time working on his body. Yes, his body. <gasps> Body's fitness to dodge whatever attack they may have planned. Hold on! No! No! Get the heck out of here! We are not flirting with you, Kareem. Let's go on. Let's go brush him off. Oh, hopefully she's- did she find something from there? How are you with the bats? Where are the bats? Oh, 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 no, 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 get away from me. Okay, I think he's fine. He's pretty fit. Okay, there we go. There you go, girl. You tell him. That's good. Anyways, we have found one artifact shaped dirt clump. So now you bought the table. So how about you place this in the world so we can actually already see what's inside this, um, Dirt clump? Where are you putting it? Okay, right here. Well, perfect. Right there for Aubrey. Oh, thank you very much. Okay, so what can we do? Uncover artifact. Yes, let's try this. This is her first time. Oh my god, that's a big, big clump. Okay, I'm really excited. I haven't seen any of the artifacts. I did not look in the debug menu to see what they look like. It would be cool to finish the collection. <gasps> no, 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 more plasma bats. Oh, goodness. Uh, wait, the wind horde sets. Wait, the winged horde sets their sight on Kobe. If only he was a bit more fit or had some plasma bat bait to distract them. But alas, there's nothing to be done but hope the bats move on after a few nips. Where is he? He's right here. He's getting attacked. No, are you okay? Are you? Don't. Are you flirt? Are you guys flirting? What is going on? This place. I'm going to say this place is setting some kind of a, I don't even know how to say it. It's this place. There's something weird going on. They're not supposed to be flirting with each other, you guys. It's this place. Once they get out of this place, it's going to be like they were hypnotized, a hallucination. No flirting. No flirting. But hey, um, plasma bat attack. Oh, being a plasma sword for bats is not cool. Not cool at all. Hold on, let me just continue this. Guys, stop flirting with everybody. This is not... Just just resist. Resist it. Resist the power. Hold on, just do like exercise. Resist the power of the waterfall. You can do it. And Aubrey, you can find whatever is in... No, she's flirting with Tessa. Oh my goodness, guys, guys. No, 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 no. Everybody just focus on your own thing. You continue. <laughs> whatever it was, whatever it is you're doing, uncovering the artifact. Oh my goodness, these brothers. Guys, you guys talk to each other. Oh my god, what is happening here? This place is like cursed with making everyone flirty. Go talk to your brother. At least you shouldn't be flirting with your brother. Oh, Tessa, you are a married woman. Tessa, you are a married woman. I swear there is no romantic thing between these two there is not there is so not stop it stop it now <gasps> let's just do get to know something nice let's do no exchanging the numbers let's do yes ask just to be friends can everyone just ask to just be friends please like guys this is not a thing who are you flirting with again also this guy ask to just be friends <laughs> oh my goodness okay they have decided to cool off their romantic relationship. Thank goodness, you guys can fight it. You guys can fight the power of the waterfall. Oh my goodness, I would not be, I would not be excited to get over here. Okay, uh, they have decided to cool off their relationship too. And you don't, don't even think about, no, don't, don't even think about it. Do you have a flirty bar with anyone? Do you, like, you are an old man, professor. You are a flipping elder. What do you think you're doing? Go tell a joke to Tessa. Joke about politicians. Is that something you would do? Stop it! Who are you flirting with? Who are you flirting with? Who? Not your brother? Her? Her? Are you serious? Let's just ask to be friends. Hopefully that means they won't do it again. <laughs> this, oh my god, guys. I do not know. This is not the best place to stop to uncover the artifact. But, you know, we're more than halfway through. We're not gonna stop now. We need to get away from the waterfall now. Like, yeah, we'll come here if we ever find somebody to come here with. But like, with these guys, ooh, no thank you. Archaeology level two. Aubrey can now study art and artifacts from historical insights to further improve her archaeology skill. And what's gonna be in here? 
excited to find out she's pretty much done. Ooh, unauthenticated Omiskin vase discovered Aubrey Duval. Okay, let's put that in our inventory. Let's put that in our inventory. Uh, let's uh, move on. Let's move on. Let's get away from this place. Oh my goodness. Not sure what we can do with that. How can we authenticate it? I am not sure at all. Place in world, set, uh, send away for authentication. Okay, so we can do that from our home lot. Okay, well guys, let's go here together. Just this view, like literally, this makes me think of the movie El Dorado. Wait, what is it called? Something El Dorado. This makes me think of Uncharted, the video game, which is awesome, by the way. I totally recommend. I guess we're gonna clear the path with our hands. I think one of the these guys would do it this time to prove that they're a strong, strong young man. You know, they're like, sit away, sit aside, step aside, Aubrey. We can do this. Oh goodness, now they don't like each other. The birds are pretty though. Okay, well, we're just waiting for him to do this. This might take forever. Ooh, could they help? Clear path with hands? I don't think they can do it at the same time, no. So we'll just wait for Kareem to do the job. I'm excited to see what's on the other side, when we're gonna discover the temple. But hey, we discovered our first artifact, so that is pretty cool. She's focused now. Something uncovered from uncovering an artifact. Hidden within all that rock and dirty and and dirt was the possibility of finding history who's running off where are you going professor have you had enough you you've had enough now no 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 you don't need to go over there you can use this bush here fertilize you don't need to run to the to the toilet this you can just no one's gonna see that just just go in there this is a great site to go in no one's gonna see nothing. Go fertilize the bush. There you go. <laughs> this is a new bush from Jungle Adventures. A good thing, good placement for it. Okay, he's still feeling feeling flirty, but no one else is, which is perfect. He's about halfway done with this. Yeah, they're just friends. No flirting, you guys. Okay, by the way, do we need to use our jungle gear? Who's calling us? Bjorn! We are not gonna join the garden gnomes. What the heck is wrong with you guys? Tessa is feeling a bit hungry, not too hungry though, so I think they're okay for a little while longer. These guys are the hungry ones, so you should eat grilled cheese. And um, are you hungry too? Not as much. Oh, is he? Who's gonna go through if he's gonna clear the path? Okay, we'll see. No, 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 Tessa! Oh no, she hasn't got the spider repellent! With no logical way to avoid their bite coming to mind and no Dr. Parker spider repellent within reach, she may just have to deal with some creeping, some crawling, and maybe even a little biting. No, I'm so sorry! She's not prepared for this. She's from the suburbs. She lives in a freaking mansion. Oh no, oh no. Ah! Oh my goodness, I'm doing the... The sound effect, she's screaming! Oh no! Oh, that's gross! Okay, she's uncomfortable. Nope, nope, nope! That's exactly my thoughts. From getting bit by a spider. Ooh. No, no, everyone is getting attacked by the spiders! Could have used spider repellent, could have outsmarted the spider using logic, coulda, woulda, shoulda. Oh no, the same is happening to Aubrey now too. I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry. I think, I think this girl here, I think Tessa might wanna go home to be honest. We'll see what's on the other side of this and then we'll see if they need to go home. How long, oh, is he done? I think he's done. Oh, he's going through, great, okay. Well, we'll see what happens when Kareem is going through this. He's like, guys, Step aside, I'm going through. I will face the dangers on my own. <gasps> Abandoned campsite? Karim is blazing a trail through the thick jungle when he stumbles upon a campsite. It's a pretty remote location and he doesn't see anyone nearby, but he's not sure if it's actually been abandoned. Should Karim take a look around? That sounds a bit scary. So there's a campsite, remote location, and he doesn't see anyone, but it might not be abandoned. Arm self with insulation powder? Avoid the campsite or quietly look around. He's gonna quietly look around. This is Ricky Green we're talking about. <gasps> a wild chase. Kareem tries to stealthily look around the campsite but accidentally trips over a log and lands with a giant crash. 
a wild-eyed Sim emerges from the jungle and chases Kareem deeper into the jungle. Kareem eventually loses the pursuer in the thick jungle, but he is left pretty shaken up by the encounter. Oh, Kareem. Oh, where is he? He's got over here, though. Okay, so what happened to him? Injured hands from clearing a path with hands and a strange encounter with a wild Sim in the jungle leaves one's heart pounding. Wild Sim? Interesting. Let's everybody come here together. And uh, Okay, so we've gone through the second little portal. Okay, so into a new area. There's another dig pile that we can dig through. How's everyone? <gasps> yes! Oh my goodness! Ah, Okay, I don't know how the freaking lyrics go. Look at this! It's Lion King, everybody! Oh my god, we need a cat or a dog. Okay, so... We've come through to a different side. No temple in sight at the moment. I do not see a temple. So we can go through. Hold on, let me take a look. There is a gate over here. There's a different looking gate. This path is sealed shut and cannot be opened on this trip. Perhaps next vacation it'll open? Well, that's a bit interesting. That's nothing. Okay, here's a path. Clear. Oh, there's another little guy! Oh, there's another parrot! Oh, you are so pretty! Guys, am I the only one who's freaking out over parrots in these let's plays? Okay, so we've got one path there, one there. Anything over here? Oh, there's a path there as well. Oh, with a totem. This looks like it's going into the ruins, maybe the temple. And then over here, over here is another one. Another one that is sealed for this trip. That's a bit interesting. That's a little bit interesting. I think I'm gonna send a few of these guys home. It is 5.30 p.m. Tessa does not seem to be doing too well. We're gonna send the professor home too. He, he, um, he, he's a bit scared. Oh, no, no, no. <gasps> he's being attacked. You were supposed to go home. Oh, I'm sorry. He's definitely running home now. Oh, goodness. Okay, Tessa is going. Professor, go to lodging. Okay, Rix is gonna stay with us. Aubrey is obviously staying. And then we've got the brothers. <gasps> Wait, oh no, he's just gonna get attacked by bees. Oh no! This is such a dangerous jungle! Holy heck! You are feeling hungry. You should eat your um, grilled cheese ready to eat. Oh no, oh no. Everyone's getting hurt. They are so not prepared for this. What do they think they're doing? Well, that kind of filled his hunger. Not too greatly. Oh, he's really uncomfortable. Okay, I'm sending this guy home too. It's gonna be these three who continue onwards. I wanna go dig this pile that I saw somewhere over here. Here we go. Let's go excavate this as well. We might as well ask um, Riggs to help us. I feel like Riggs should have gone with Tessa to make sure she's okay, but we are not too far from our campsite, so... Riggs, Riggs is gonna stay with us. I mean, he kind of feels like he has to take care of everybody, not just Tessa. So he's gonna be here for emotional support. Can we excavate with us? No, they can't excavate at the same time. Okay, well, how can we help? I don't know. Just, uh, just go here. And you continue. You continue this. Perfect. We'll see what's inside. I guess we'll go through this one. It looks cool because it's going into the temple. The only other one- oh no! <gasps> More? Oh goodness. Okay, he can dodge them because he's so fit. The only other one we can go through is that one. But this one just seems more interesting. Okay, let's do this. Let me have her dig up whatever is hidden in this dirt pile. Hopefully something good. Oh, she found an old, an old Kinti vase. Wait, that's the same thing. So no other dirt pile, but another, another unauthenticated old miskin vase. Okay, well, let's go. I really need to get another machete, but let's go to this one. I'm gonna have her come here. We've got Riggs with us. I think Riggs might be the one to go through this this time since they're not there so machete. He's got big arms. I think he's gonna be our guy. Is Kobe still with us or has he run off? Oh my goodness. Okay, clear a path with hands. Kobe, are you? Okay, there he is. He's coming. Okay, I'm a bit nervous. Oh, no, 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 more spiders. Oh, goodness. We need to buy way more, way more survival gear. This is ridiculous how often they get attacked. This is such a dangerous jungle. Oh, no. Okay, anyways, let's have him come over here. 
Kobe, I'm sorry. Oh no, now he's now he's bitten by the spiders. Hopefully they don't get sick or something. I am not prepared for that. He needs to use a toilet bush. Wait, I think there's one right here. Yes, go fertilize that one instead. And um, how's this going? Just fine so far. Can we talk to him while we're doing this? Talk about art. We can. Oh, can we? Uh, let's do, let's do, tell a joke about aliens. Not sure where she's going. Okay, there we go. <laughs> let's go entertain him while he's clearing a path for us. This strong guy here. He's a lot older than Aubrey. Aubrey's only in her 20s, like around mid 20s, I would say, so. I think he's in his mid thirties, so I don't I don't see a romantic connection with these two. But you know, you never know what happens if they get freaking like if they start having hallucinations, whatever else there is. Let's uh let's do and you spot interest. You can do it. You can get through this path. We can do it. Oh my goodness! Once we go through this, we'll see what's on the other side, and then might save whatever there is on the other side might save it until next time and next episode this is so exciting this is such an exciting pack like you really just want to see everything that is out there these guys have gone home have you gone home where are you go home go home kareem there we go tessa is at home okay and you guys he's still clearing the path okay we definitely need to buy another machete or three. <laughs> oh my goodness, hold on, where are you going? Where are you going? He's gonna go sleep in the bush that he peed in. Come here, yes, we're done, okay. Bye! Oh, 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 oh. <gasps> Last resort bush nap. Ooh, rev revolting bush and nope, nope, nope. <gasps> Carnivorous vines. <gasps> Lieutenant is having a really enjoyable hike in the jungle when he suddenly hears a sim screaming a short ways off. Oh my god, hopefully nowhere from then. No one from their expedition. He sprints in the direction of screaming and finds a sim that is being menaced by a carnivorous 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 I don't know. Plant! What should he do? Grab sim and run or create a distraction. Higher handed skills leads to better results or confused plan with spider repellent. Dang it. I think we would grab the sim and run. The poor menace sim seems to be frozen in fear. Riggs jumps in, grabs the sim's hand and starts to run. After a short sprint, they both slip at the same time and slide down a muddy slope. They're both relieved to escape the carnivorous plant, but they're both completely filthy. Who is this sim? <gasps> Charles the Temple? Would you like Riggs to tell us the temple? Are you serious? The temple? Yes, I would like the Riggs to tell us the temple. We're taking Aubrey. Kobe is going home. Kobe, he's not doing so well, so we're gonna send him home. He have three uncomfortable moodlets. I think I don't even know what time it is. It seems like it's getting dark, so I think. Oh my goodness, a temple! A flipping temple, guys! Next episode, we're going into the temple already. <gasps> it looks. It looks better in um. Daylight, as you guys saw in the intro. Oh my goodness. <gasps> it looks really ominous now that it's nighttime. Look at the light. So here is the temple of Salvadorada. Literally, Aubrey is so flipping excited. We are here. Let's um infuse or something to Lieutenant. Let's um let's uh get to know her. Let's tell him that we this is what we've been dreaming of our entire life, pretty much. She's just obsessed with these temples. Let's uh discuss the uncomfortable mood. Look at it! Oh, let's not look inside just yet. <gasps> okay, never been inside the temple. So wait, who's that? What are you doing here, Kobe? I thought you were going home. Don't go sleep in the bush. Just go home. Go to lodging. Oh goodness. Anyways, I'm gonna leave the part here and next time we will explore this Salvador Radian temple. I'll probably do it in the morning, like in the morning in the game time. Who is that? <gasps> oh my god, it's a skeleton. Okay, we'll be back next time. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're new here. I'm scared. Oh my goodness. Okay, next episode's Dimple and Skeletons. Thanks for watching and bye!